Mr. DeWitt. Mr. DeWitt. Mr. DeWitt. Are you all right? I'm fine. You were dreaming. You kept saying your daughter's name, Sally. She's not my daughter. I thought... Pain and beauty. To an artist, they are parent and child. Cohen? I'm sending you to find your... young one. <laughs> no need to thank me. I'm not so sure you'll like what you find. Look. Fontaine's. Ryan sent the whole thing to the bottom. But it's a prison now. Why would Cohen have sent Sally there? I don't know. Everyone has needs. I merely provide a service for those who have the means to pay. You'll find your little bird in the housewares department. How many people do you suppose Ryan's got locked up in that place? Enough. Fontaine had amassed something near an army. Now they're down there, spliced up and wild. All right, there's a dock up ahead. Takes a cold son of a bitch to do that to a living person. What's that? Burial at sea. You read your residency contract with Ryan Industries? In perpetuity, we're all buried at sea. Comfortable. Keep your eyes open. Seem to be some supplies this way, Mr. DeWitt. It's Booker. What? Just call me Booker. If it's all the same to you, let's leave it at Mr. DeWitt. Look up there. Grabber? Kids use them to ride around up on the pneumo lines. Air grabber? Huh. Constants and variables. Constants and what? Never mind.
never stuck. I want the frosty one. Get me the frosty. Mr. DeWitt, someone's coming. Come back. All right, I got the grabber unjammed. There's no excuse. Won't steal. Mr. DeWitt, look. Housewares. That's where Cohen said we'd find Sally. The store ran trams between the three buildings. We'll need to avail ourselves of that. Assuming it still works. Optimism, Mr. DeWitt. It helps in situations like... When did you come to Rapture? Oh, it was, uh, geez, I guess around 51? No, 48? That's a rather large gap. Time. Life I had before. Sort of becomes a blur. 49. 49 for sure. Damn. You look a mess, Mr. DeWitt. Just keep your eyes open for splicers. They can do us a whole lot worse. Here, little birdies. Eat it up. Well, it, it's good for you, you know? I've never heard of birds that didn't like seeds. What, what's, what's the matter with you? Do, do you think it's poison? Mr. DeWitt, splicers. Mr. DeWitt, look. Well, there's the tram. That splicer had no problem freezing a path for himself before. I'm sure he'll be happy to do the same for us. I have no doubt you'll prove persuasive. An 
ice rink. Be good at places any to look for our new friend. It says it's on the top floor. So we go up. Damn thing's locked. Let me see that. Oh, have matters progressed so little? I could turn this with a rake pick. Done. Where'd you learn that? Oh, it's something I picked up a long time ago. Yeah, our frozen friend leaves a hell of a trail. Just let me in, okay? Uh, Fontaine, he said we're all equal down here now. Uh, all in the same boat. I just want a taste of some high-class food. Splicers. I don't think they see us. Keep Yo. quiet. Maybe you can get the drop on them. Even the odds. <laughs> Can't judge a man only by bookings. I told Santa Cohen I'm always ready to cut a record. Tom Schultz said he called. Folks always stare when I make the scene. You get used to it.
on the hawk this time! Seems sane. 
Nothing beats your first splice. From there, it's all downhill. The frozen frosties, the jockeys who'll hand you a thousand volts as soon as look at you. You sound sympathetic. They wouldn't be the first sons of bitches who found an answer at the bottom of a bottle. But once you see them go all weak at the knees at the sight of a little sister and all her Adam, they cut a less sympathetic figure. Short-circuited. Probably be able to pop it open with it. A jolt of shock jockey? You familiar with shock jockey? More than you could know. Let's look around. Maybe there's a store ain't been ransacked by Splicer yet. Me. This entire 